make sure you do these things in the winter months to protect your van. Follow me inside. The first thing to protect yourself against is frost damage. This could cause damage to expensive appliances such as your boiler, but also if there's a leak from frost damage, it could mean having to rip out parts of your conversion due to mold and damp issues. Make sure you turn off your water pump to allow you to drain down your plumbing. You need to drain down your boiler by flicking the drain down dump switch. You need to open all taps and shower mixes from inside your van and leave them in the open position. You do this so that if water is trapped in the pipework, it has an escape path if it is frozen. So of all of the appliances that are, could be prone to frost damage in your van, we've seen that it is actually the shower mixer bar that is the most vulnerable of all of these appliances. And there have been a few occasions where the customer has forgotten to leave the tap and the shower mixer bar in the open position when they've done the winterization process and the water inside the mixer bar has frozen, expanded, and causes the ceramic plates inside to crack. And when they've gone to use the shower in the future, uh, either it's not working properly or it's actually caused a leak. Um, so water will be spilling out of the actual mixer bar itself. So really important to ensure and remember that you need to open the mixer bar on the shower cubicle and also on the kitchen uh, tap as well when you carry out this procedure. It makes an open circuit and therefore if any water is trapped inside the pipework, if it expands due to frost, then because it's an open circuit, it has space to move into. As soon as you close the tap, it creates a closed circuit and therefore if there was any water in the pipework and frost damage was to occur, the water's got nowhere to escape to and therefore it will expand and burst the pipe. Drain down your fresh and waste tanks and leave them in the open position. If you have a fridge, then you want to open it, turn it off and leave it in the vented position. The next thing you need to consider is ventilation. This will prevent condensation and damp forming in your van over the winter. Any ventilation you've got in your van is free from blockage and in the open position. If you're going to be spending a period of time in your van during the cold weather and you know that this is going to be um, something that you want to be doing, then we would recommend adding a heat element into your fresh water tank, which is under slung. Uh, we do insulate the tanks, which protects them to a certain level. But if you're going to be in the UK, up in Scotland in the winter and temperatures are going to drop, then it does help to have the added protection from a heat element. And this is on a simple little rocker switch in your control panel um, that you can turn on when the van uh, external temperature is dropping overnight. And then in the morning, as the temperatures increase to above freezing, you can switch it off again. It's a 35 watt uh, heat element, so it will draw about two and a half amps from your batteries. So one thing to bear in mind is not to leave this heat element on uh, and forget about it because it will drain your leisure battery system down. What we like to do is to put a small LED rocker switch in the system so that when the heat element is switched on there's a visual warning with that little uh, red LED light to remind you to switch it off when it's not needed. The final thing is to protect your batteries. You're going to want to turn off all of the electrical circuits that you won't be using over the winter. Make sure that if you have got solar panels you're not parked under a shelter because you're going to need those to provide a charge to your starter battery. It's good to have a trickle charge from your solar panels to stop your leisure batteries from running flat but also having a, an appliance like a multi plus that can feed a trickle charge into your starter battery as well so that your starter battery doesn't go flat. The winterization process and the steps we've outlined in this video are really important for the health of your van conversion. It's one of those things that even if you're absent from the van for a single night uh, you must do just to obviously it, it can only take one night for the temperatures to drop and the damage to have occurred so yes even if you're leaving the van for one night you should carry out the full winterization process what we like to recommend to our customers is if they finished using the van um, after a long trip then they can drain down everything leave all the taps in the open position and that's a visual reminder that the taps and the drain down procedure has been carried out. So it's good practice when you return home from your trips to open everything up, drain everything down. And likewise, when you are going on to your trip, you can then um, refill all your water and systems as well. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Do like and subscribe to our channel. 
for more van life content. See you next time.